Hi, I'm Frank Kirkovic, and I'll just give you an introduction here on how to use Kidspiration. So you see Kidspiration is in my dock here, and it's the one with the three stars. And if it's not in your dock, you can go to the spotlight here, type in Kids, and it will be the top hit. So Kidspiration has opened here, and what you're going to do is just click on a new picture. Picture. And you notice that the computer talks as you move the cursor. Rhyming. So we're going to make a picture. mind map, and I'll just click that. And you have a main idea here, so I'm just going to create a mind map for myself. I've clicked on the outside area here, and now I'm going to click on the bubble so I get these red squares. So when these red squares are here, I can go up to here add symbol. and add additional bubbles all around. So I'll just click this four times, and it's added bubbles for me. I'll just click on here and click again. Now I can add in text. I'll just put a family one in there. Hobbies, nationality, and interests. So now to have bubbles appearing around my family one, I would just repeat that process and click on family. Add symbol. And I've added two bubbles there, and I can just click on this bubble, hold the click, and then move it around. So in this bubble, I'll put parents. And in this one, I'll put two sisters. And my hobbies here, I'll give Add myself symbol. three more bubbles. Add symbol. And I'll move them around a bit. And for my hobbies bubbles here, I'll put in a picture instead. So you see over here you have a photo library. And these buttons here next bits. allow you to go to next the next page animals. or back. Next and groupers too. this orange button here allows you to see the whole library. Pick lot. And you can just scroll down and find what you like. I'll say I like to Pips. paint, tap dance, and act. And I'll just spread these out a bit. And these photos can also be resized by clicking and holding on the corner squares and then just dragging. And if it appears off like this, that's okay. You'll see it automatically adjusts for you. And you can just scroll it up and it, it's still there, so you do not need to worry about that. And you'll see it's done it for me down here now too. One thing you shouldn't do for adding photos is clicking on the photo and dragging it out on, on top. I'll just delete that. Now what I would like to do for my family bubble and my two sub bubbles is if I click here and hold the click and if I move the cursor you see they all become highlighted for me so it's a bit faster. And what I'll do is I'll color code it. So I'll just go down to here. And you see I have a fill color as well as a line color. Line color. I'll just make them the same. If you wish to change font, I double I click here and then I click again. I highlight the text and I can make it bold, bold. and change the size. Text size. If I want to change the text color, I would use this button. Tick. And if I want to change the font, font, I can go here. Or if I font. click in this area and hold the click, the whole library opens display. for me. Ariel. And I'm still holding the click uh, button on the mouse as well. What you can also do is if you decide to change the photo, you just simply click on a new photo and it will change for you. And prints. And what you can also do if you've decided that you don't want the photo there anymore, click it on and you can go back to this oval and it will restore it back to its original way. Now one part that may confuse some students is they may click, click this button and it brings you down into this area so you can add text in here as well. Just to return you Click that Go button driving. again. And for students to add their name, they would click on Student this. Name. And just type in your name here. Decide where you want Center. it to appear on the page. Right. And then click OK. OK. 
you'll see it won't appear here, but when it is printed, it will appear and you see the name has shown up here. If you do make a mistake, say if I accidentally delete that, this is the undo button. Undo. Undo. Listen. And if I click and activate this, every bubble I click on, Parents. it will read. Two sisters. Family. That might be useful for ESL students. And if you're done, then we can go to save. File. And you see it's given the title, saved as Frank. It's right now saving in the documents folder. I'm going to move it to the desktop. And that's done. Another useful tool you can File. have is exporting it. Export. And I'm going to save it as a JPEG. JPEG. I'm going to save it on the desktop again. So I'll just quit this here now. And you can see here is the JPEG. And now that can be dragged into iPhoto or just saved on the server as it is. And that's pretty much all you need to know to get started.